tonight to our speaker on tonight, Evangelist Nikita Rogers. Amen. She is a dynamic speaker. She is a dynamic prayer warrior. She is the founder of the Unfaving Faith Ministry, Prayer Ministry. She is the mother of six children. She is a prayer warrior. She is a singing woman of God. If y'all have not heard her, y'all need to hear Missionary Rod. You found her on every part of Facebook. Just go on Facebook. And you will find her. She sings, she prays, she does whatever the Lord have her to do. She will pray with you when whatever you need her to do, whatever you said in the need of. Missionary Rogers? Yeah. I had just a note down. Come on, baby. All right, baby, come on. She is a loving woman. Yeah. She loves you. She will tell you she loves you. Uh -huh. All you have to do is call on her. She is standing by at all times. Uh -huh. She is a, a minister yeah. on the Kingdom Purpose TV. All right. She's all over. Yeah. And she's wherever you need her to be. Yeah. All you have to do is look on Facebook. Uh -huh. She's on there. And she's on, she have her own page right. on there. And I think it's called Holy Fire. Holy Ghost Fire. Holy Ghost Fire. Thank you. Go on there. She is going to break the word of God on tonight. And I know she is going to do that dynamic. She's going to preach the word of God. Y'all right. listen to what she has to say. Right. Get in the word. Put it in your heart. Yeah. Let it abide in you. Yeah. And do what the words say do. Amen. Evangelist Nikita L. Rogers. Step aside. 
<laughs> Tonight, we're going to use a subject matter, the genetically modified church. The genetically modified church. I want to start, if I may, with the common definition of something that is genetically modified. For those of us who have not kept up with genetically modified, it is a substance that is a breakdown of something from its original stead. A genetically modified organism is an organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering. The acrobacterium's ability to transfer genetic material to plants or to transfer gene to gene. So let me help all of us in the English language. A tomato started as an original seed and then they split the seed and they split the seed and they split the seed and they broke it down until so many times it looks like a tomato, but it's been genetically modified. It looks like a tomato. It has the characteristics of a tomato, but because of science, it's been watered down. So when you eat your salads now, you say, this doesn't taste like it used to taste. Why? Because it's been cut and cut and cut until it tastes different, although it looks the same. Please walk with me. A genetically modified organism. Rice is one of the most commonly genetic five items. It's broken down, it's broken down and until when you finally get it into your home, it may be 10 parts away from the original rice. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. And when you put it on your plate, and for those of you that like gumbo and, and rice fried rice, it's been so modified until you don't get the satisfaction that you should. Why? Because it's been broken down and broken down and broken down. But I want to talk, if I may, for a few minutes about this church. The genetically modified church. Where did we go wrong? When was it all right to water down the word? When did it become okay to cut corners and to compromise? When did it come okay to stoop and dive and peep and do ungodly things and still get in the pulpit and sing in the choir and you're comfortable but you're modified from what God wants us to be. The genetically modified church is one who has Walked away from holiness. Walked away from sound teaching and living a separate life. We don't want to do that anymore. We want to fit in where we can get in. And we want to be popular instead of holy. The devil is a liar. The genetically modified church. When I was a girl 45 years ago or so, Holiness was right. It was all right for your dress to be long. It was all right for you to be covered. It was all right for you to look sanctimonious. But now we've modified the church. Oh, I'm not afraid to tell it. We modified the church. Oh, yes. It's all right to be squeezed in and tucked in now. It's all right to be cleavage low and stirred up high. The devil is a liar. When did we lose it? When did we? When did we lose it? Holiness is still right. Holiness was never wrong. The genetically modified church is comfortable with the dress that slips up when you sit down. The genetically modified church is comfortable when they can cuss a little bit. They, they comfortable with that wide because they cut the word and, and they cut the gospel and they turn corners. Why? Because they watered down the word of God. And now there's no use for the pastor because they watered down good for nothing. The genetically 
modified. Church. Oh yeah, we, some of us even dress like I dress. Still slipping to the club. Dress down to the floor. Still cursing. The devil is a liar. Oh, I'm not afraid. See, I came from Houston. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to help the preachers because they preach holiness or hell. And we try to tell you that if you cut corners and if you modify, if you add to, if you take away, that's not the Bible says don't add to or take away. But we're comfortable with being modified. What are these genetically modified people? The genetically modified church is the one that's comfortable with shaking and still shaking in the church. Oh my God, they come and they shake and they shiver and then they go back, live with a man and live with a woman. They're comfortable in their modification. But it's unholy. Holiness or hell. All the way from here to the back. Yeah. Yeah. Holiness yeah. or hell. Yeah. We have choices to make. Come on, the genetically modified church member is the one who has a husband leaving out the front door and a boyfriend coming through the back door. That's a genetically modified Christian. Broken down. Watered down. And he genetically modified Christian or church goer is the one who says pastor don't take all of that you, you don't need to preach like that when the word starts to hit you and cut you and pull you asunder the genetically modified Christian is the one that gets mad what do they do? they leave and go to another church because they don't want to hear holiness they want to hear the things that soothe. When I was a baby, come on. When we were babies, our mothers would give us things that would soothe us. But that's because we were young. Now you're old. It's time out for pacifiers. It's time out for bottles. You shouldn't be wearing peppers anymore. It's time out. Genetically modified. And then you still want the pastor to pat you on the back when you're doing what's wrong. And then you have the nerve enough to get mad because he preached your life over the pulpit. Nobody told him or her the Holy Ghost revealed it. And he spoke it. Yeah. And you are genetically modified. Yeah. There are some of us who truly love holiness. Yeah. There are some of us who don't cut corners. Yeah. There are some of us who don't have wine in the back of our refrigerators and beer under our bed. There are some of us on, who are not hiding cigarettes on, in the glove compartment. Oh, I'm not afraid. There are some of us who are living holy and we've dedicated our lives and we've given our lives to God and we're not going to turn around. We're not going to turn away. We're going to maintain holiness and we're not afraid. And we love what we do. Can I tell you that I love what I do? I love living holy. I love living righteous. I love living sanctified. I love it. I love it. The Bible says the ways of a transgressor. Say that, say that. It's all. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So, so everybody help me save all their life. When, when you used to get ready come on. on Friday, you, better come on now. you didn't even start getting ready till 10 o'clock. Yes, sir. And you cry when church is an hour. You, come on. you didn't even start looking in the closet until 10 o'clock. Because the club was a jumping Ooh. until midnight. Yes, That's what they tell me. I used to watch my aunt. She didn't go to the closet until 11. Oh, I said, why are you going so late? Because she said, things aren't happening yet. It's not happening. But, but, but we have the nerve, we have the audacity to 
look upside the preacher's head when he goes over 15 minutes and you wonder why he's taking so long and you're looking at him angry and you're mad because he took an extra 15 minutes. Come on, come on, come on. And you're in the air condition. Come on. But I hear they say the club is hot. People are sweating. They're uncomfortable. Oh yeah, the young people dropping it like it's hot, bumping into each other. Nobody complaining, but you come to church where the air is blowing 2,500 BTUs and it's cold and it's comfortable and you're complaining because the man of God or the woman of God is preaching, holding this or hell. The devil is a liar. The truth is not it. I know. I went to a club one time in my life. It was so dark. I couldn't see anybody. And I told my husband, I said, what is this? Oh, this is how it's supposed to be. No, I need to know which way to run. Somebody pull out a gun. I don't even know which way to go. It was too dark. You can't tell me that people enjoy that. The enemy has fooled them into thinking that's fun. They, they think spending, well, especially the girls, uh -huh. younger, spending $300 on tracks and the men getting them snakeskin shoes, silk pants start so much until they can barely walk, wasting money. Oh my God, to go sit in the dark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some leave right from the church. They have on the church clothes and the get up and go clothes are in the car. I got to get away from here because I don't want people to see the genetically modified church. Preacher preaching out his clothes, sweating out his robes, blood pressure going up trying to preach to all of us. And yet we turn our ears. Yet we want pacifiers. Yet we want bottles. Yet we want cameras. Yet we want him to push us. Oh, we, we want the pastor. Come on, pastor. Push me in this stroller because I can't walk by myself. Oh, yes, you refuse to walk him. the ways of holiness. You refuse to walk. Why? Because you're genetically modified. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. You have made the choice to remain weak, broken down, and modified. Yes. We strive daily. All of you out there who don't know all of us, we strive daily yes. to live holy. Yes. We fight as Pastor Goins after church, as missionary call. We wrestle not. I'm not fighting against you. I'm fighting against spirits. Wicked spirits. Things you cannot see. But they can possess you. That's what we're fighting against. I'm not fighting against the member over there. I'm not fighting against the person over there. We're warring with spirits. We're warring with demonic presences. The things we cannot see. But if we were wholeheartedly with God, we would have the power to cast out demons. We would have the power. They shall be yes, healed. Yes, Lord. Yes. I, I have a question. I, I want to know what happened to the greater works. Yes. When was the last time you saw someone healed yes. just like that? When was the last time you saw the wheelchair be pushed to the side? When was the last time yes. you saw the mute yes. talk? Yes. We Come on. have gotten modified. Yes. God is looking for holiness. Yes. He's looking for righteousness. Yes. He's looking for those of us who are dedicated, who are bold. Yes. And don't mind telling you, girl, if you keep shacking with him, you're going to die and go to hell. Boy, if you keep shacking Get mad 
Holy Ghost. Come on now. Come on. When the Holy Ghost came on the inside, cussing went out. Come on now. Woo! Hey, glory. When the Holy Ghost came in, hatred went out. You better say that. Doesn't mean that people are always good. Come on. But the Holy Ghost came in and cleaned up this girl. Yeah. Washed her. White as snow. Yeah. Washed us. It's a yeah. lot of people have a testimony of where they came from. Yeah. Oh, we weren't always holy. Don't let us fool you. Yeah. We put on this attire. We put on those ties. We look nice. But we came from some. Oh, that's a revelation. We came from somewhere. Yeah. Some of you came from a darker place than I did. Yeah. God delivered you from some things. Yeah. You don't, may not want to talk about it, but God delivered you from a dark place. Yeah. And he brought you out of the mark and the matter. And he brought you out of the quicksand. And he pulled you out of the club. And he pulled you out of the dope house. And you have a testimony that only God could have done it. Only God could have pulled you. Only God could have rescued you. Only God chose to be holy. Yeah. I'm walking away from the genetically modified church member. See, I have a choice. Yeah. We have choices. Yeah. Holiness or hell. All the young people, y'all, y'all have choices. Yeah. You can do what the popular people are doing or you can allow God to speak to your spirit. Religion, salvation, holiness does not have an age upon it. 15, 17, 23, 25, 35, 41, 57, 60, 70, 80, 90, 102. And the Lord can still save you and sanctify you and fill you with the Holy Ghost. And may I pin right there, it's not hard get saved. It's not hard. The devil is tricking people. They tell me oft times when they hit box me, well, missionary, you don't understand that um, I, I have to come to Christ when I'm ready. The devil will never let you think that you're ready. You'll be tasseling with that thing for the rest of your life. I'm not ready enough. I'm not clean enough. I'm not holy enough. I'm not worthy. The old mothers used to tell us, just come, baby. Yeah. Let God do the washing. Yeah. Yeah. You can't wash yourself. I, I can't wash myself. Yeah. Let God yeah. do the cleansing. Yeah. Yeah. Not the pastor, not the assistant, not the first lady, not the evangelist. There is power in the There's power in the blood. The word will wash you. Word will cleanse you. Yeah. And it, it keeps <laughs> gotta help you. It will keep you from day to day. Yeah. You're wondering what's keeping me. I'm a widow with six children. I've been celibate for almost seven years. What's keeping me? The Holy Ghost yeah. and fire that burns every day. It burns through the night. And every day I have a responsibility to kill this stuff. Yeah. Flesh gets you in trouble. So, so I want to pause and say, everybody, you're not the only one you better come on. that may have yes, that problem. Come on. This is dangerous. Yeah. 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 This is dangerous. Yes, it's got a lot of humps yeah. in the ground. Come on. It's got a lot of divorcees. Yeah. This, yeah. oh yes, yeah. the, flesh. The, flesh. the flesh. We battle with it. We war with it. Yes, and all times, I'm sorry, but the members give in to it. Yeah. Come on, missionary. And then the pastor has to preach Come on. you back yes. into salvation. Come on. He has to preach yes. until you redo again. Yeah. He has to preach yeah. until you're ready to give in all yeah. of the old stuff. Come on now. The song says, I come out the world 
to follow Jesus. Oh, yes. I'm not turning around. And I want to pull as many as I can on the Lord's side. The old mothers used to sing this song. I'm on the Lord's side. Makes me mighty happy. I'm on the Lord's side. And it makes me mighty glad. I'm mighty glad because I gave my life to God. I'm not going to turn around. I'm not going to give up. Neither am I going to give up. I'm on the Lord's side. And it makes me mighty happy. I'm on the Lord's side. And it makes me mighty glad. No matter what people say. No matter what people do. They talk about you. They talk about you. And they try to puke you. And they try to scold you. But I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give out. We're not giving in. We're going to run on. Yes. See what the end is going to be. We're going to run on. See what the end is going to be. We're going to run on. <laughs> the end is going to be. We're going to run on. See what the end is going to be. We're going to pray on. See what the end is going to be. I believe I'll pray on. See what the end is going to be. Yes. Those songs bringing us. Those songs bringing our spirit. I'm going to run on. And I know somebody's going to come up and pat me on the back and say, girl, keep going. Come on. A traveler. How often? Every now and then. But I believe when I get weak, somebody yes. is going to say, girl, you can make it. Yes. You can do that. Yes. With the help of God. My husband was sick for 10 years. Physically sick for six. Bed bound for three. I didn't walk away. I stayed. And not only did I stay, his food was hot. He was well manicured. And I never got a boyfriend. Never. Never. But not by me. But by the power of God. Yeah. Not by any of my might. Right. To God. Be the, to God. Yeah. Be the glory. Yeah. To God. Be the glory. Yeah. To God. Thank you. 
Tell them who you are and where you're from. That's a sharp looking dress. Preacher. Is this man you looking sharp? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we just want to thank God tonight for being here. Amen. We just give God all the honor. We are the Greater Harvest Church of God in Christ from Carbon, Mississippi. A1, uh, A1, 1108 Proper Street, there in the beautiful city of Carbon. Amen. Thank God for one of the greatest missionaries in the Brotherhood. Amen. Missionary Evangelist Hall. Amen. Thank God for her. Amen. She is, amen. The wife 